Open Virginia. Each day we're making time in our shows to highlight a few local businesses. They're getting creative to stay open and that could use our support right about now. Our friends at Saxon Shoes, of course, a family owned and operated fixture in Richmond, now more than 50 years, is stepping, see what we did there, stepping in a new direction this week, welcoming shoppers online with a special 20% off virtual store-wide sale. Here's how it works. Saxon Shoes goes live on Facebook featuring styles each day. They each show a shoe will have a number on a colored sheet of paper. If you're interested in one, just direct message or comment on the video with a number, color, and um, the color of the paper and your size, of course. After the video uh, airs, the Saxon Shoes team will reach back out to you, connect with you for payment by phone or PayPal, and order uh, your shipment. And uh, oh, by the way, Third generation operator Amanda Weiner delivers her smiling face for white glove curbside pickup if you choose that. Now they kicked off the fun Sunday with girls who just want to have fun. Today the, their, their theme is kids would rather be barefoot. But on Wednesday it's ladies, if it feels good, wear it. Thursday is for the fellows with men like and need shoes too. <laughs> and, and Friday rounds out the week with lady sandals, athletics, and active wear. You can find Saxon Shoes on Facebook at Saxon Shoes. And join daily this week for each of the virtual 20% off sale events. You can give them a call 804-549-5028 or email shoe-ru at Saxon Shoes. Dot com. I think that's hysterical. It just seems so robotic. Men like and need shoes too. <laughs> Men need shoes too. <laughs> yeah, we do. <laughs> yeah, it's true. But this is incredibly creative and it was particularly special. I've just got to share a little behind the scenes. Gary Weiner, owner of uh, Saxon Shoes, had connected with our team. And I've met, of course, you know, we've worked with Saxon for years. And I've met Amanda, and he is so proud. Yeah. Of, she just has taken the reins on putting this whole campaign together. So it really does illustrate the power of a family-owned and operated business right here in Richmond. So super creative, a lot of fun, great time to spend together, and she's doing a terrific job. So that's I, a cool uh, story. I knew his mom so. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when she was running this store, and Gary's done a great job. And now third generation, that's that fantastic. Cool? Yeah. All of that, plus the locally owned company Abundance Organizing would usually work right alongside clients with home organizing and senior downsizing projects. They've also taken to virtual sessions. The team launched a Facebook group, Home Organizing Support During COVID-19, and the organizers have been very busy with virtual sessions too. Popular projects right now include so many spaces, but take a look at this. You know how we love before and afters. These are some reveals from their virtual sessions. Take a look. This is an attic space. Oof, looks a little bit like mine. This is the before and Thanks to this virtual session, wow. Presto Changeo. That looks really good, right? Talk yeah. about like maximizing space and ah, just that sense of calm in there. Here's a master bedroom space in the before state. All right, that doesn't look that bad, but what, what's going on here? That looks here? pretty good to me. I know, I'm, I'm, I'm actually kind of envious of all the shelving here, but let's see what the after looks like. Okay, I mean, hey. Look yeah. at that, there's belts on the door. We've got pocketbooks where they need to go. And it just seems cleaner, tidier, and like you've tackled a situation. This is a problem area for so many of us at home. The pantry, right? Take a look at this before. Okay, again, envious of these shelves. That's, that's really helping the situation. But what a sigh of relief with the after in this pantry. Look at that, everything's in its place. You know where it's gonna be. You know what you've got in there. We're all trying to make the most of what we've got. So wouldn't it be nice to be able to find it a little bit more easily? These are some great projects. We love what they're doing. A reminder to find that Facebook group that Abundance Organized created. Search home organizing support during COVID-19 and a direct link to all the company's information will be available later today, wtvr.com slash VTM. And Monday, April 6th, Mindy Arnold of Abundance Organizing will join us for a conversation on boosting productivity while working from home, offering some great tips for making your space at home 
work for you. I feel like it's about time for that, right, Bill? <laughs> yeah, definitely. All right. Well, we can all look in there and see the mess. Then we'll hopefully have some after pictures too. <laughs> all right, it's Takeout Tuesday and we're featuring a Westwood community mainstay. It's the Westwood Fountain, founded 22 years ago by Faisal Aridi. And the family owned old school breakfast and lunch diner is located inside the Westwood Pharmacy, of course. Right now, customers can call ahead to order a meal for pickup. Westwood Fountain is also offering curbside pickup. There's a full stocked, uh, lots of things to go in your fridge with Westwood Fountain's variety of soups and dinners and meals. Richmond famous chicken salads, desserts, and hearty salads ready for you to take home. Westwood Fountain is open from 9 till 3, Mondays through Saturday, 9 till 2 on Sunday. Find them online, westwoodfountain.com, or give them a call at 804-282-4828. Faisal and the Westwood staff would love to see you on their Takeout Tuesday or any day. They're excited to see their Westwood family. And for more information about We're Open Virginia, please visit virginia.com slash open. Plus, we will provide a set of direct links to everything covered today on the Virginia This Morning page to WTVR.com slash VTM. And we'd love to hear from you. If you have a story we can share on We're Open Virginia, please email us Virginia this morning at WTVR.com.